asking, why is it potentially in my best interest to have my non-US spouse, my non-American spouse, assuming I'm married to, uh, non to someone from Ireland or, or whatever in the tax system? Now, it's something called a, a Section 6013G election where a US person who is married to a non-US person can elect. And the reason why is because it's quite blatant when you look at the US tax rates for someone who files jointly they are given more preferential tax treatment to someone who is single. Uh, we can debate the, the merits or the ethics of that, but that's the way it is. So if it is your spouse is uh, earning a lower income, and oh, when you measure it up, the, the tax savings from having that spouse on your tax return outweighs the, you know, the, the cost of so doing, then it's sometimes to your benefit to do so. So it's, it could be that uh, simply from uh, a tax efficiency or a tax planning perspective, you bring your non-US spouse onto the return. Now, the second condition where we see it happening with our clients is that there's an intent at some point to move to the US. So you're living in Ireland, you've married someone who is Irish and not American, but your intent is, you know what, in another couple of years, let's go live in the U.S. Uh, you know, I'll file for you, get a green card and you go live in the U.S. Then remember when you land, when that spouse lands on U.S. soil, they are completely outside of the system. They technically, they don't exist. Uh, you know, they just simple things like getting a, uh, uh, a postpaid uh, cell phone plan or leasing a car or renting an apartment, they will fail every credit check because they don't exist. So part of the, the tax planning opportunity may be, you know what, we're going to be in the U.S. in a couple of years time anyway. So let's elect for you to file now, get, get a tax ID, which is called an ITIN, get you on that tax return. So you are in the system, you exist so that when we land in the US, you hit the ground running and you're not like completely dependent on me and starting from zero. You hit the ground running, so let's do that. So those are two circumstances. One, it may be tax efficient to bring your non-US spouse into the return, or two, it may be a tax planning opportunity should you guys be thinking, you know what, we're gonna move over to the US. The kids are getting older. We want them to go to certain universities in the US. So we want them to finish high school. You know, we see these circumstances that would make it uh, sensible. Moving on to the next question. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Our books and upcoming events are available at htj.tax. Email us at help at htj.tax to engage us to advise on international tax or business matters.